to be the Spirit. There's got to be God. You don't know that. And how you doing? Very well. Okay. We're representatives of Jesus Christ. We go around preaching about Jesus Christ, oh, really? his teachings, and how they can how they can bless our lives. What if y'all be interested? Hey, Jesus Christ set up his church and gave that authority to act in his name, that priesthood authority, to the apostles. And the apostles went to the top of people right. and established the church. Right. But because people rejected Christ's teachings and the teachings of the apostles, then eventually uh, we fell away into the state of the apostles. Okay, but that's that's where I disagree. That's where I disagree because you said the people rejected Jesus Christ um, and his not teachings. Every, not everyone. Yeah, yeah but that's that's the way. You know, that's what not I mean. The people okay. at that time. No, not everybody at that time. Not everybody. Right, right. There was rejection there. No, I'm not denying the re I'm not denying the rejection, but I'm denying the fact that he said the people rejected. Yeah. Well, well enough people rejected that they did something about it, and obviously he died by God resurrected. I mean, I mean, the, the, when you talk about the crucifixion, we're talking about the, the, the death penalty of the state, which was the Roman Empire. Um, the same way you got the death penalty here in America. So, I mean, we well, we condemn in Rome as a whole when we talk about the crucifixion, when we talk about who's responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, or are we just talking about the people that didn't accept his message? We don't condemn anyone because that's not the place. No, well, no, I understand that, but according to what he just said, what he just said, no, but listen, I mean, can I get a word in? What he just said was that when the people rejected Christ, so I mean, the scriptures tell you he that believe him not is condemned already. So I'm going according to basically what you guys say. I'm not accusing you of condemning anybody. But when you said when the people reje are rejected him, the way the Bible reads, once you reject and don't believe, you are condemned. So what I'm saying is the crucifixion, the Roman Empire that crucified him, that had that penalty of death, are, are those are the ones that condemned or is just the ones that rejected him? That's my question. Good question. Well, I thought you guys were here to teach. What right. The Book of Mormon. Okay. Sorry. Why would I take that? The scripture says that, you know, if anybody come into your house and, and don't bring the correct book, that you're not supposed to bid on God's feet. So, I mean, why would I take the Book of Mormon? We sitting here talking about the Bible. You're pushing on me the Book of Mormon. Because it testified of oh, Jesus Christ. But don't the Bible testify of Jesus Christ? Absolutely. So then why do I need the Book of Mormon? So oh, so the God words need to be, God word is weak. It needs to be strengthened by the Book of Mormon. Well, sir, people can take the Bible. Right. And, and they, they can't take the Book of Mormons and twist it? No, because the Book of Mormon is not the Bible. Okay, so the Book of Mormons has ver more virtue than the Bible. Sir. I'm just asking, I'm, I'm wondering. I understand. And we're not here to talk about it all night long like this. Oh, you really? Well, you was here to talk about it all night long before you knew I knew the scriptures? No, sir. <laughs> then you come up on your bike riding and saying, are you ready to learn something? <laughs> now you're ready to go, huh? Sir. Wow. We'll is that what you guys about? We'll when you run into somebody that, that you can't really... Do you want this or not? Oh, oh, now you're dictating what's going on. No, I don't want it. I think I made that clear. You know I don't want that. What you should want to know is the fact that you are in something that is not divinely inspired by God. It has no authority by Jesus Christ. This is the reason. The scripture says in the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 15. This is how you know who Christ is then. He said, I will give you a mouth in wisdom which none of your adversaries shall be able to gainsay nor resist. You guys can't come against anything that I'm saying. Everything that, no, you've been shut down. Everything hey, that I've been listen, saying to you, speaking, listen, over-talking is not going to get you nowhere. Being angry is not going to get you nowhere. I mean, we had a discussion. We had a discussion here. I don't need to stop and listen to you. The bottom line is I asked you questions that you couldn't answer. You clearly said, I don't know on tape. I mean, it's not like I'm lying to you guys. Christ said, I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries shall be able to gainsay nor resist. I have that mouth. That's why you're feeling the way you're feeling right now. Your only reaction is to get angry and to get frustrated and to be evil. That's your only reaction. You don't want to deal intelligently and diplomatically with the word of God. The scripture says that the servants of the Lord must not strive. Why argue about it? Yeah. If we all believe in the Bible, shouldn't we agree? Can two walk together except they agree? What has to happen here or what's happening is somebody must not be believing the Bible. Especially if you're getting upset about a conversation about the scriptures. You must really don't believe. <laughs> now, could that be it? Are you asking me? Yeah. Or are you telling me what I what do? I, you know, no, no, what I'm asking and what I'm trying to figure out is, is common sense. If we all have a common ground and we believe in the Bible, then should anybody be upset? <laughs> we're, supposed to be to have, we're supposed to be having a wonderful conversation about the Bible. Because we all believe in the Bible. We all believe in Jesus Christ. But evidently and obviously, some of us are lying about who we really believe in. 
some of us really believe in Joseph Smith, mm -hmm. and they really don't believe in Jesus. That's why when you preach Jesus, they get upset and say, sir, listen to me, and try to dominate the conversation because they can't talk diplomatically and righteously about Jesus Christ because you have not so learned Christ. If you have learned Christ and have been taught by Christ as the truth is in Christ, then you will know what the Bible is all about. But you don't know that, sir. You don't. You don't. Well, how can you? Well, how can you say an iffy statement like that? What did I say that shows you that I do not know anything about Jesus? Yes. Oh, you don't. Bye. Bye. Good night. It's good to meet you. Yeah, it's good to meet you too. But you can't admit somebody that don't believe in Jesus Christ. God's feet. I know. That just. Okay, I don't care what you know, sir. This conversation is over. 